Hello? Dude, I'm actually shitting myself. Holy. Hello, everybody. Hope you guys are doing good. Um, sorry if I was quiet. I For the first 15 minutes, I forgot the BGM. I forgot that I was going to add a BGM there. Dude, I am actually so nervous because it's like, I, I didn't do like one of those like final tests or whatever. So it's like, it might just explode. How do people do this? Do I just tease it or do I just go all in all the time? Like slowly or like just like big time? Dude, the sniffer emotes, that's crazy. All right, we got the shoes. See the shoes. Oh, oh, I do step a little bit when I move around. So I'm jamming out, play naked but not naked. I was actually like thinking about it, like if I should reveal to more people what my name stands for. All right, let's continue. Oh, a little bit of hand. Why is it so big? <laughs> I right, don't get it twisted. I'll tell you right now. I know people say if you have big hands, you know, something else. I am a living proof that that's a myth. It is not true. Let's continue. Oh, the hips. I think one of my favorite parts for like from this part is actually like, if you guys can see the belt, it's like when I move around, that's something I was like, whoa, when I saw it. Slutty waist, that's crazy. Wait, do you guys actually think I have a slutty waist? There's no way, right? But yeah. So far, very smooth. So anyways, that's crazy. Yeah, I, okay, I just had to say, I remember the first time I showed a friend and I saw the waist and the first thing I heard is like, I know what you are. You're a whore. You're a slut. I was like, whoa. What does that mean? And that was like the first time I heard the term slutty waste. Is that a compliment or is that like, you know what I mean? Like something mean. Was that toxic? Because I don't know. Like, what, was I getting roasted? Get used to it? Oh my god. It's a comp. Oh my god. All right, let's continue. All right, okay. Before I show this, I don't know if you guys saw the tweet of like when I teased. So... The tits had to be nerfed. The tits were too big. It had to be nerfed. I know, I know. We'll, we'll get back to it. We'll get back to it. All right, let's... Here's the new tits. Yippee! Can't see it properly, but later you will see it. But yeah, so far... Oh, little sneak peek there. A little bit of edging. Ah! Uh, <laughs> hello, hello. Hope everybody's doing good. Sorry, I can't stop smiling because I'm like very nervous. Oh my god, dude, I'm, I'm actually like... Hi I can't hide my face because like when I get embarrassed, I hide my face. And I can't do it here because then it loses tracking. Hello, everybody. Yes, this is me now. Oh my god, I'm just reading you guys' reactions and it, uh, it's making me blush so much. <laughs> Oh yeah, I know if you like it. When I focus a lot, I do this with my face a lot. No, I'm not mad. I'm not mad. People have the, you, you all have that. It's like when you guys are focused, you guys have that like kind of look. Resting bitch face. I've, I've heard some people say like IRL that I, like, I have that. Funny story. This model actually has like the lean back and the lean forward feature, right? But we actually had a problem in the beginning because the whole story behind me being a shrimp is actually because I sit like a shrimp when I'm like on my computer. So like when I first got it, when I like sat normally, I was like like this. My model was like this when I first got it. Like I'm getting back pains already. Next thing I'm gonna show is actually something that was gifted, which I didn't expect. So next thing I'm gonna show you guys something else that I got. Boom! A room! And it's like 3D. And again, I'm gonna say, since this was a gift, I didn't say anything. I, did ha I had zero inputs in this, okay? This was just like my friend giving and commissioning. And I love the part that they added hacking ikea furniture because i'm scandinavian when i saw the chairs next to me like i knew it's like dude that's ikea like i'm in shrimp has a house no i rang on someone's doorbell like a, a rich place and just like hey i'm recording for this and that i just lied and then they just gave me like, oh yeah just record whatever you want and they just like lent it for me for like an hour so don't worry this ain't really mine all right different angle boom different angle computer i don't know what's happening with the shrimps on the desk they're having fun i don't know why there's alcohol next to my computer but because that's just what i gotta do when i play apex the only way i can stay sane move on to the next angle boom this one has a little bit more yeah the room is kind of big either that or i'm small as fuck there's like small things over here you know what i mean uh, there's a i guess that's a pk from apex on the wall massive shrimp on the bed on the walls everywhere you guys are probably noticing the carpet. The carpet was not my choice. My friend who gifted this to me or like commissioned this decided it would be a funny idea just to add a random raccoon meme as a carpet. Like I said, I can showcase this now, like with like the background, like the water, because it's transparent. Like I said, I can do whatever I want. Like let's say, oh shit, I want to show off memes. You know what I mean? Boom, memes on the wall just for the zoomers, you know? I can even do like subway surfer on it. Think about that, like the possibilities, you know? Boom, more memes, heck yeah. More memes. This is my cousin right here at work. You know, like I could do anything. Oh. The atrium at Ofkai. This is like a hotel view, you know what I mean? From the bedroom. 
we're back at the atrium. After this, we're going to do the toggles. But before that, I have to do a few things. I have to add a few things. So I set up a halftime show. So I hope you guys enjoy that, okay? And we're back. Hello, hello. Uh, the reason why I'm back here on the desk is because I want to warn you guys, if you guys are sitting in the dark, uh, when I go over to the emo toggles, I'm going to do a green screen. So this is a flash bang warning. All right, we go back. Boom. Very green. Hello, hello. Well, now you guys can do whatever you want. Anyways, start with the basic crying because, you know, I always get bullied everywhere, especially during collabs. But yeah, you guys should be used to this look. This is how I sleep every single night. <laughs> now we're back to normal. I wouldn't recommend this to people. There's a drunk one when, you know, I'm a little bit tipsy. And then, you have excited, you know, when I see... Okay, I'm not gonna say it. Penis. And then, of course, you have... When I see you guys, of course. And then of course, you know, the normal blush when I'm like embarrassed, just like in the beginning. And then of course, you have the smug, you know, when I'm plotting something. And then you're scared. But I think like my favorite with like this scared one is actually like, I, I look scared, but if I do this, like I just look disgusted, you know, it's a look like I'm used to seeing. Like everywhere I go, I just like, this is the look people give me. And then you have, You know, everybody has a little bit of sundra in them. And then we have some more, you know, the hoodie. It's just how it looks with like the full hoodie on. If I wanted to, you know, special guest kind of thing. Oh my God, I can basically impersonate anybody. I want to show you guys this. I'm pretty sure you guys would appreciate this because as you guys know, I have a mascot which represent my community. Um, so there is update to it. This little guy, look at him. He's so cute. And in idol, he just, he's just hanging out. He's chilling. As you guys can know, like, you know, this is the, the big dude. This is the, this is the tier three. You know what I mean? This is the tier three. Then of course I was like, oh, I need to have someone for the tier ones, you know? Whoa, this little guy. What do you guys think? For now, what you guys been waiting for? I feel exposed. I'm actually like, guys, stop, stop staring. But yeah, uh, as I said earlier today, the original was too big. So I, this is the nerf version. But by popular demand, I decided since so many people like the old ones, we made it a toggle. And the funniest thing about the accidental with this one, when we added the toggle to be able to change it, we would just like we found out it just hilarious when I spam it. You know, pure muscle control. Milk bricks? Okay, that's crazy. You can get a better look at the shrimp on my arm. Look, it has a little toe beads. I think at one point he shrimps them. Oh, there. It's alive. This is the creature that's gonna be representing you guys. And then another thing was the hair thing. Boom. You can only see it when I move around. And of course, if I wanted to, I can change it. And I decided to, you know, since I am changing color, why not let the little guy change color too? So we're matching. Even the head one. Alright, that's most of the toggles for now. I'm gonna keep the little guy on my head though. During the halftime show, I said that I was gonna add stuff. I added the new emotes. On Twitch right now, these emotes was drawn and created by Chica. They're really, really good and I love them so much. Do make sure, like, you know, make sure to check them out. And I can see in the chat already that people are, you know, spamming them and using them. Let's move on. I'm gonna make it very short. I know people don't really like this part. Lore. I had something planned. I had a lot of things going. Uh, sadly, when I was washed ashore in the beginning, I bonked my head, got amnesia. I don't remember my past. I don't remember what happened to me. So once, you know, I get better, big things will be coming. Yeah, I forgot. Next, goal. What are my goals with VTubing, streaming, contents, whatever? For the people who's been watching me for a while, you guys know why I haven't been streaming consistently for a long time because of reasons I can't really talk about. But every single time I stream, I always say I want to create a place and environment that I needed a while ago because, you know, I got heavy depression. 
And I just want to be a person or just create an environment that, you know, something that I needed back then. Create a place where people can hang out, have fun, just do stuff together. An environment that people feel like they fit in. I'm not saying that just like, you know, just to say it. I really mean it. All right, let's go next. What to expect? Um, so I made it small, you know, hit like, you know, a few pointers. Community stuff. Um, we are going to be doing community stuff together. We're going to have movie nights. We're going to play games together. We're going to, like, I'm a person that's curious about everything. So when people have like comes up with like things that they are passionate about. Wait. Wrong slide. I'll be playing all games. Yeah, I'm you know, as I said in the beginning of the stream, I'm a professional cyber athlete. God, I hate saying that. There's gonna be a lot of yapping. I was told that for some reason I've experienced a lot of things. I have a lot of, you know, funny stories or like crazy stories some stories might be, be retold multiple times and some of you also know that when i get in a weird situation i fully commit if i'm in an awkward situation i'm not gonna try and like dodge it i'm going all in just so i can like you know what i mean have, have a giggle about it afterwards uh there's also gonna be tournaments sometimes i get invited to tournaments and there will be tournament plays it's mostly gonna be like just gaming in general next one is irl uh, since i travel a lot i would like to bring you guys with me because i don't want to like you know disappear like you know go for milk and never come back So there will be IRL streams. I'm also a person that re doesn't really like showing my face much. Don't worry, I'm not gonna ruin your immersion. I'm gonna, you know, be wearing a mask and stuff. Hand cam. I will be doing a lot of hand cam stuff because like, if, like I wanna open stuff. I'm a huge fan of art. And that's why when I go to cons, you probably know that like I always go around and check out people's like, you know, artworks and all stuff. Yeah, bet. For the people who's heard of me or know of me, probably knows me about some Yabe stuff. I make it very clear, I'm not serious about it. If, if you see me twerking, it's all jokes. Anyways, shit posting. For the new people who's never heard of me or seen me before, I've had a few tweets and content that is, you know, very degenerate. If you think I'm serious about it or joking, that's up to you. Pools, hot tubs, and beaches. I have to join the meta. If you are on Twitch, you know you have to do this. I have to join it. And of course, there's gonna be a lot more stuff. All right, let's move forward. Tags. Well, our tag is IPNG. My not cypher work one is Pronstar. Stream hashtag is LivePN. Memes is stream post and fan name Evitachis. Yes, there is gonna be not safe work stuff. There is already not safe work stuff out there. Damn. The hand cam streams, I will be showing off a lot of the things that I've been receiving for the past like cons I've gone to, which is wild to me if you think about it, because this is, is literally my first VTuber model. Art credits. This is actually something I want to mention because this is very important to me. You guys might find it boring. So as you can see from my model, the art is a little bit unique, also very familiar for some of you. How I got this on my old design was it actually started off as a fan art, and it was my first ever fan art, and it was just a shrimp. So I reached out to them and thanked them personally because it was my first one. We connected and we talked, and then she cooked out my old design and I thought it was so good so I decided to pay for it and we just started working together and we were both small back then and then we grew like fast so I thought to myself there's only one person I started this journey together with I'm gonna start it again with the same person so I reached out to Akemono Paper Cider so she's my art mama I asked her would you be down to do be my art mama she said I would love to but I've never drawn a live 2D model before so the model you see right now is actually her first ever live 2D model oh you're probably thinking how did she do if she doesn't know how to do it the super talented people over at iron vertex decided to give a hand and enma is my papa so my rig is done by enma yeah i guess i could say it. it's up to you guys chat if you guys think we cooked next so this is the reference sheet something crazy i want to say i remember last year at ax someone actually cosplayed me which is like that's my first ever cosplay someone actually cosplayed me and i don't even stream and then of course the second part of the reference sheet as you can see the shrimp is there with legs so it can sit it has some little bit toe beans the earring the hoodie on and and of course, you know, honkers out. Next, graphics and background. As you guys saw the starting and ending animation, thank you so much for the amazing animation. And then for the overlay and panels, the panels you can see on the was done by Jack. The graphics was done by Ori. She is all right. I get, I'm kidding. She's amazing. She helped me out. She's a good friend of mine. The 3D room was done by Kogami Akimoto. They were commissioned by a friend. Uh, most of the pieces were actually commissioned by friends. That's for the most part. Everything else, yeah, it was done by me. The shitty parts of the debut so far was done by me. Editing the video and the timings and music and stuff like that. I I'm sorry, guys. After the debut, there's always going to be a stacked schedule. 
Boom. Oh, I forgot I picked this art. This is one of the arts. Yes, there is a female version of me because in originally when I didn't have a model, people wanted me to be hot. They said that IPN was the best girl. And then when they found out I was a guy, they were disappointed. I'm not gonna lie. I think my female version is hot as fuck. But yeah, sorry, I've never done debuts before. This is my first ever one. So I hope you guys actually like enjoyed and I hope the debut was good. Everything was like a blur to me. I'm gonna roll the end credits. After the end credits, I'm gonna be ending the stream on the YouTube side of things and then we can do the after party. Alright, I'll see you guys in a bit.